Oh, that's interesting. I filmed the snow removal job right on this street. Ooh. Uh, last season, last uh, February, I think. And uh, here we go, what's going on again now? I'm not sure if it should wait here for the blower or. Hmm. See, this is one of the things I've always liked about living near my place is that I don't have to go far to find snow removal operations. I'm like, uh, I just walked like 17 minutes from my place. Yeah, it looks like we got about 30 centimeters of snow. Total surprise. Especially since these geniuses there at the weather office, doesn't matter which one, they said it was going to be like, because of El Nino, we're going to get hardly any snow. And then I could have swore months earlier I'd heard the opposite, that we're going to get a ton of snow. So. Yeah, it's funny, when I filmed this, I guess earlier in the year, again, I think it was in February, I was checking a couple of pictures I took. Um, it was sunny and the sun was from down there, so everything was like backlit, you know. So yeah, trying something different here. I didn't feel like bringing a camera and lugging that around with me for various reasons. You're going to see by the signs here that they're uh, they're going to remove the snow on this side of the street where I'm standing uh, after 7 o'clock this evening. Ah, the beautiful symphony of it all. Luckily it's not horribly cold. I mean, it is December 5th, uh, so it's like minus 5. High of minus seven, still morning, trash day. Wow, there's actually not much snow here, why is that? I guess because it most of it blew on this side because of the wind, I guess. Waiting for the blower, waiting for them dump trucks. I'm waiting, I'm ready. Always ready. You know, there's an old expression here in Quebec in French when people say, c'est pas évident, which translates to, it's not obvious. And this is one of those things that applies, is the snow removal process, really. You know, like they're collecting trash here right now. There's the garbage truck, there's cars that are not moved by their owners and they have to be moved and there's you know then there's problems with blowers and other equipment so God damn it. Ah. yeah i forgot to mention that i moved up the street here 
See, I was down there at the bottom down there before. Okay, I admit it, I'm starting to miss my uh, my Nikon because not an amazing camera, but boy, does it zoom in and zoom in long and sharp. Okay. Mm hmm There we go. Oh my god, what is this? There are two guards here? Wow. You know, I forgot to mention when I filmed this on this street down there, you know, over six months ago, it was also different, not just because it was really sunny, but it was like 8 o'clock in the morning, so it was right at rush hour. There was a lot of action, eh? Oh yeah, and by the way, we're uh, right here. This is the uh, STM Frontenac garage. Yeah. Uh, that's a nice western star too. I'm sure I must have filmed it last year on one of the streets near here, right? about a little bit more, eh? Even though I hurt my wrist when I fell there. I wasn't even going to say that. I'm like, oh my god, I hope nobody... I'm like, I'm going to have to edit that out. I'm like, ah, you know me. It doesn't matter. I'm an idiot. And there's the quasi scrap. Boy, you know, there's a stop sign there, asshole. There's a stop sign, you know, like, nobody cares, you know. Doesn't matter. Get hit by that snowblower. God forbid it should wait a few minutes, you know. Nah, it's in the back of that, anyway. Hmm. 
that's a Freightliner. I thought it was a Mac for a second. There's a sweet Kenworth down there, Peterbilt, I can't tell. Yeah, it's a Kenny. Sounds good. Nice black pipes. This video would not be complete without that Kenworth W900 back there. Coming along somewhere there. And that's how a truck's supposed to sound. And in the future, everything's gonna be That's it, man. No more excitement. It's over. All for the environment. Come on now, time is money, especially taxpayers' money. What is it? I, I heard a few years ago they said that just to do a mile of snow removal in Montreal costs like three thousand dollars. That's crazy. I just saw an old Grumman step van and seen a long time. Ooh, with the flags, that's a nice touch. You gotta end things right, you know? You gotta end things right with some classic French architecture there and that Kenworth W900, you know. Friggin' early this year to get a snowstorm though. Frankly, December 5th, I mean, people think of Canada, they automatically think, oh, there's always snow and ice. Not necessarily, you know, climate change. Well, that's it. My fingers are frozen. Thanks for watching. Adios.